the T distribution functions in Excel are similar to the normal distribution functions, but there are more options and more functions. The basic function is T dist, which gives you the area to the left of a value of X or T. The input is the X and the degrees of freedom and one for cumulative. In all of these examples, the degrees of freedom is 10. Degrees of freedom is just sample size minus one, so the sample size would be 11. The input with minus 2.228 is the area, or re returns the area to the left of minus 2.228, and the input requires a one for cumulative. In this, the zero would be for non-cumulative, and we really don't need this that version of the function. So one should always be specified when using the t-dist. For x equals 2.228, the area to the left is 97.5%. The t-dist rt is the opposite of the t-dist. This one returns the area to the right of a value of x. The input is x and the degrees of freedom. There is no specification necessary for cumulative or non-cumulative. For the area to the right of minus 2.228, we get 97.5%. The area to the right of 2.228 is 2.5%. These are exactly the opposite of the original DIST function. The t dist 2t gives the area outside of a minus x and an x. The input is x and the degrees of freedom, and x cannot be negative, so that the minus version is implied. For this, if we put in 2.228 with 10 degrees of freedom, the result is 5%, 0.05, which means 2.5% is to the right of 2.228, and 2.5% is to the left of minus 2.228. So the result is the area in both tails together. The INV functions have as input a probability, or an area, and a degrees of freedom, and the result is the X value, or T value, which cuts off that probability. For example, for 2.5% in the left-hand tail, the T value that cuts that off is minus 2.228. If we put in 97.5%, the T value that cuts off 97.5% to the left is 2.228 positive. The two-tailed version of these things is probably the one that's used the most often. It returns the x value, which cuts off p over 2 in each tail. It returns only the positive values of x, so the minus value is understood. For example, if we want 5% total in the tails, 2.5% in each tail, we would need to use 2.228 and minus 2.228. This is the function that's usually used to find the t-values for a given confidence interval. For example, for an 80% confidence interval, 10% is in each tail, 20% in both tails together. So the specification is 0.2, 20%, with the degrees of freedom of 10, and the result is 1.372. This means we have a minus 1.372 on the left, which cuts off 10%, and a plus 1.372 on the right, which cuts off 10%, leaving 80% in the middle.